Queen, one of my favorite band of all time, pretty much. Uh, I, I worship them, so did Randy Rhodes. We started Choir Ride to be like Queen. And my most interesting Queen story is the fact that I got to meet Roger Taylor in 1986 at the Rainbow. And I had I talked about how much I loved them in the press everywhere, and he slagged Choir Ride. So I said, how could you do that? I loved you guys. He was like, ugh. I, then we went to Roy Thomas Baker's house later that night. And I started to drunkenly play I'm in love with my car. And he says to Frankie Benelli, the choir ride drummer, this is your singer? That's my queen story. <laughs> so is that a good one? That was good. How does it feel being here during their induction and then seeing the show and everything? What kind of memories does that bring back of you being a queen fan? To be at, at Queen's induction is like surreal for me because as a fan, which I am first, uh, it's it's so cool. I mean, Brian May, Roger Taylor, uh, the songs they wrote, those records that I listened to as a teenager, coming home from school every day, trying to be like that band, trying to write songs like those songs. It's just so neat. I mean, I, I, I have a big smile on my face because of the whole situation. Really, really cool. Cool. All right, now tell us, uh, got any John, John, stories? John Entwistle. Uh, I managed to have the pleasure and privilege of becoming friends with John a number of years before he died. Uh, we were going to do a band together for about 10 minutes, 10 seconds, depends upon, could be milliseconds, nanoseconds. Uh, he was at my house a couple times and uh, he, we had uh, one of those uh, brass spoons you used to uh, deep fry in a wok. And he picks it up and he goes, good soup. First joke. Then he goes, the best part about this spoon is if you throw up, you can save the good parts. Then he takes the spoon again and goes, Coke spoon for a person who's trying to stop drugs. That's good. What was your first thoughts when you saw The Who? Uh, the first time I saw The Who was for The Who's Next Tour with Keith Moon. My first thought was, this is way too fucking loud. And I mean, Quiet Riot was the loudest band I'd ever heard. And, I, and The Who hurt my ears, so it was really hard to deal with it. And I had, have, had to deal with that problem ever since. That was my first thought. My second thought was, this is the greatest message that, that I've ever had sent to me because Pete Townsend was the greatest writer. What did you think of John Entwistle as, a, as an innovative bass player? There was no one like John Entwistle. I mean, he started the whole genre of uh, lead guitar and the bass. He had a unique style and a unique tone. He managed to play lead on the bass, but it didn't interrupt with the flow of the song, which is really unusual. There's many people who try to play lead on the bass, and it has interrupted with the flow of the song. John was unique in that sense. He made it fit with the uh, composition. Well, which favorite Queen song? My favorite Queen song? Oh, man, there's so many. Uh, I love Now I'm Here, Ogre Battle, Father to Son, Sons and Daughter, uh, Liar, Keep Yourself Alive. Anything of the first three Queen records I love. Bright and Rock, amazing. Thank you.